If you are looking for an Aweber email marketing tutorial, you are in the right place. In this video, we will show you how to create broadcasts and campaigns inside of Aweber. Now there are a few other videos in this series. We will link to the next one at the end. The other option is to look down in the info below, where we will point you in the right direction. We have also put a video timeline on each video so you can fast forward to the correct area. There are two links below. The first is to pick up a free account of Aweber if you don't have one yet. If you enjoy this tutorial, the second link is for our massively discounted Aweber advanced course. There are also separate advanced email marketing and traffic courses as bonuses. In the latter, we will show you software that is the fastest, easiest and most cost-effective way to build an email list. You will be an Aweber and email marketing ninja in no time. If it is the first time on our channel, a warm welcome. Please like and subscribe. Now let's dive into the tutorial. Hello everyone. Well, I'm going to show you how to create an email broadcast message in Aweber. An email broadcast message is just one email that goes out to everybody on your list. Or you could take that one email and send it out to several lists that you have within the Aweber program or application. So it's just an email that some people call it an email blast. You get the point. Okay, number one, step number one, we're going to create an email broadcast message using Aweber templates. Then I'm going to show you how to create your own message template. The reason you want to do that, let's just say that every day or every week you send out an email blast to everybody on your list and says, here's my new blog post about thus and so. Okay, maybe whatever it has to do with sewing, knitting, health and wellness. Every week there's a new blog post, online marketing. You spend all your time setting up a beautiful email. You don't want to have to do that every time you send out a notification that you have a new blog post on your blog. You just want to modify a little bit and hit that send button. Just change some of the text, maybe an image, and send it out to everybody. That's why you would want to have your own template. Step number three, create an email broadcast message using your own template. And then step number four, schedule an email broadcast message in Aweber so we can have that message go out instead of having it go out instantaneously, you can schedule it for a future day and time. All right. Okay. So let's get started. Here we are in Aweber. I'm going to, let's click up in the upper left. That gets us back to the dashboard. I check out what list I'm on, right? There's several lists. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the list I want to be on. I'm going to create a new message, drag and drop editor, and this is just what it started out with by default because I had been playing around with this template earlier. So now what you want to do is you want to choose, you're going to create an email broadcast message using an Aweber template. So click here on templates. There are hundreds and hundreds to choose from. So you can just scroll down like this, right? This is the one we're looking at right there. Um, I could click there and that would give me another one or you can look under categories. So you could go under like holiday categories and as you'll see, they have things for New Year's, Valentine's Day, St. Patty's Day and 4th of July, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just go back up here and I'm going to go to all you could always search for one you can just type in halloween valentine's day fourth of july or corporate you have all different types to choose from let's go to category all let's use start out with a template that i like that's easy to work with scroll down it's called simplified now under simplified there's four little circles so that just lets you know that you can choose from four different styles of this template. I'm just going to go with the first style of the simplified template. Um, and I've clicked on that. I'm going to click apply. All right. So here we go. This is the template. We're going to modify the template and then we're going to save it as our own template. So what am I talking about? Click here. This is where an image goes on the right. You can upload your own image, use an image from the image gallery. You can design one on Canva. I show that 
in the advanced course, or you can search on Unsplash for, um, what do they call, royalty-free images that you can use for free. Right now, I'm just going to go to the image gallery. And in the image gallery, there are, like I said, there are thousands of images. You can type in, you know, under search, you could type in business and click search, computers, whatever, and you'll have all different choices. Or you can go click on my images, and these would be images that you have uploaded previously. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to try to find the one or one that I can use. Let's see. I think maybe this was it. Okay, Jimmy Joe's Marketing Company. It's a fake company. So that's the banner I want to use on top of every email I send out about my new blog posts. All right. Now, let's say we want to add another image in here. I can take an image right there on the upper left. I can click and drag it. Um, I can put it right above there. And once again, I'm going to go to the image gallery because I've already uploaded some images. And this would be about how to create this one. So this is what the blog post is about. And at the bottom, I want to create a button for that. So let's click on button, click and drag. And I'll put the button right here. Now, we want to link to, let me just click on the right-hand side. This is the text. And what I'm going to have it say is click here for my latest blog post. Okay, so we're going to have that aligned to the center. You can change the color here, the background color. And I'm just going to have it. You can like choose a blue there and then choose with flavor. You can change text size here. Um, and the text color, you can leave it white or you, maybe you could try out yellow if you like that. All right. Now I'm going to... I need to have this button link to the blog post. So let's go to the blog post article how to create so this is the blog post it's a fake post obviously that's all latin text and this is a fake website but this is the page with the blog post how to create a facebook cover in canvas so i'm going to click up here this is the url control c to copy command c on a mac go back here don't click on the button just click to the right of the button and where it says url i'm going to click backspace get rid of that pound sign control victor to paste and then you get the green check mark, you know that it works. Um, at this point, I can save it. We'll save your work automatically, but I'm just going to save this page because we, we like it. Um, for subject, I'm going to put check out my latest blog post, right? And we could also put in there, we could put the, there's like the eyes in there somewhere. There they are. If you wanted to, just to spice things up a little bit. Um, down here, we have, it looks a little jammed up. So what I'm going to do is put some space in there. You know what? Before I even do that, I'm just going to highlight all this text. And up here, I like 18. It's easier to read. And if you want to change, obviously, if you want to change the on family. This is where you would change the font color, different shades of dark. I like to go with this one. And if you wanted to make it bold, et cetera, et cetera, or add images and all that stuff, you go there. So I'm going to kind of click in a white space to deselect and see what it looks like. I'm going to click in there and just hit enter. So we have a little space so it's easier to read. It says type slash to write with AI or use commands. I'll explain that later. And so 
Well, it keeps popping up, so let me show you what it's for. I can just put a little slash. It's right below the question mark on your keyboard, and it gives you different options and things like that. So if you wanted to add an image, a paragraph, uh, let's just put a header two in there. And I could say right here, click here for blog post, right? And I can go up here to center that. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Once again, we want this to link to the blog post. So this, if we click back here, we know this is control. You can do control A or command A to make sure you've highlighted the whole URL. Uniform resource locator, another name for web address. Control A to highlight everything, control C to copy. And what I'm going to do is highlight all this text and just click here to make it a hyperlink. And then I'm going to control Victor, just paste it in or right click, paste. You have different options. You want to do a link there. Click save. And we are done. Now, let's just say you wanted to change this a little bit now that it's a link. Let's see if we can do that. We can go here and change the font color maybe to a darker blue. And we can change the background maybe to a light yellow. And we'll make it even a lighter shade of yellow. Click in the white space again. So it's a clickable link. It's a little more noticeable, obviously. You may want to put your company name or whatever down here. Or you may just decide that you want to delete it because you don't really need it. It's up to you. Okay, and then we have that extra line down there. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, so we just have that one line. Now I'm going to click Save It. So I'm saving the blog post, which was created using the simplified template. Now I'm going to save it as my own template. Save As. And I'm going to put... You call it whatever the heck you want. Just give it a name that makes sense to you. So now I've saved the template. Um, I just happen to notice I'd like a little more space under the image. So I'm going to go there. And I'm going to save the temp and maybe put that comma after first name and maybe a little space there. And now I want to resave it. And the safest thing to do now, it's good that I'm messing around. So what you want to do is click up here to get back to the message, okay? And that brings you here. And now I'm going to save it as a template. Now, just to be safe, I'm going to give it a completely new name or a different name. Latest blog post number three. So there's zero confusion. This is the one that I like the best. And we are done. So this is actually, let's just click save and exit, or we can go preview and test. And this is what it would look like. If you want to see what it looks like in your own email, you would just put a email there, a name there, and click send. Okay. And then you'll get a test email of this. There you go. Now, I don't want to keep sending out if I click, or you can see that this is highlighted, right? So click over here, it kind of becomes a little bit gray. And what's actually in the email is right here. Now I don't want this, how to create a Facebook cover to show up on every email that I send out regarding my latest blog post that would make no sense, right? Okay, so let's go back to, let's go back to the dashboard. We're still in the same email list. I want to create a new message. Let's go drag and drop editor. And it's using, by default, this is the Aweber template. I don't want to use that template because I just created my own. Okay, so before I start doing all that, 
I want to show you that this is the article I want to link to this time, how to build your list on a budget, right? So let's click here. And this whole page is just about this one blog post. So I need to click here to highlight the URL or the web address that links directly to this blog post. Click Control C, Command C on a Mac, or right click and copy. Now I'm going to go back here. I need to choose my own template, which is click on templates. Make sure when you're creating a new email based on a template that you do not check keep my message content you want to make sure that is unchecked click on my own templates latest blog post three it looks like i've named given that name to another template earlier but this is probably the one we just created which is fine so i'm going to click apply and this time right everything else is pretty generic except i need to change that so i click on that i don't want to delete it i just want to remove it and add another one i can upload it from my computer or from the image gallery i'm going to go to my images and we're going to go to i believe it was the next and there it is so i'm going to click on the white space to the right of it and up here, I can put – okay, so I'm giving the email a new subject line. I'm giving it a new image, and everything else I can leave the same or change. Oh, wait, I need to change this link here. So. Let me click to the right of the button, and I'm going to click there, hit backspace, control Victor, and to paste, and this is how to build your list on a budget. You can see that, and I need to change this link as well. So I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, and I'm going to click on the pencil. I'm going to hit backspace to delete, control Victor to paste, save it. Bing, da bang, da da boom, and we're done. So I like to save it here first. I can do a quick preview. I can put in an email and a name up here to test it. I'm going to save and exit. And now I'm just going to show you how to do a blog broadcast, which was step four. I'm going to click on schedule. If you want to send a test message, you have another opportunity to do that here. You can copy it. I'm going to copy this, click. So now I have two in case I want to resend it and modify it. I can copy this email to another list. What I'm going to do right now is schedule it. Who should receive this? I have choices. Click on edit. I can include all lists except for this, you know, or. I can exclude all lists, or it's going to go to this list right here, all active members. Now, you also have some other choices, just people who signed up in the last 30 days, etc. So anybody who's an active subscriber on the anti-anxiety book list should get this. I want them to get it. When do I want to send it out? I'm going to send it out in the future. When should it be sent? Click edit. And today is July 6th, 2023. I want it to go out on Saturday because I want people to start off their day right. I'm going to do it 9 a.m. or 9.15. That's Eastern time. I'm going to click apply. Do you want to schedule the message for Saturday, the July 8th, 2023 at 9.15 a.m.? Yes. I'm going to click there. And that email is going to go out to everybody on that list. Now, this is a dummy list, so I'm just going to unschedule that because I don't need the email to go out to anybody. Now, one last thing, quick review. Okay, so what we did is we I showed you how to create an email message using Aweber templates. Save that, modify that template, save it as your own template. Step three. Then you're going to create a broadcast message using your own template. 
uh, which would be step two. And then step four, you're going to schedule that broadcast message to go out at a future date and time. And that's all there is to know about broadcast messages and creating your templates and using a web of templates. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day. See you in the next video. All right, everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an AWeber email campaign. What is that? Let me give you an example. You sign up for this list and I will have four emails sent out to you in certain specified intervals. So in other words, you subscribe to this list, you click get the email that says click confirm that you wanna be on this email list. It's a double opt-in as we covered earlier. So once you're a subscriber to the list, you'll automatically get the first email in the email campaign. That'll be like a welcome aboard type thing. Then I've got it set up so that a day later, you'll get another email. Two days after that, you'll get another email. Three days after that, you'll get the fourth email and you will have completed the complete campaign. You will have, you will have received all the emails in that particular campaign. So let me give you a visual representation. I'm gonna go here. So this is what I'm talking about. As soon as you subscribe to the email list by clicking confirm subscription in the email, you get that very first email. That is not part of the campaign. That triggers the campaign because that means you've just subscribed. Now. You do that at 2 p.m. on Monday, immediately you're gonna get my first email, which in most instances is a welcome aboard email. Then before the system automatically sends you out the second email, let's just say it has to do with the membership site that has to do with model trains, for instance. So first email talks about welcome aboard to the model trains club and it tells you how many emails you'll be getting and what we're going to be covering and all that stuff um, in the club. Then you got to wait one day, 24 hours. So this, you sign up at about 2 p.m. on Monday. At about 2 p.m. on Tuesday, about 24 hours later, you'll get email number two that'll tell you a little bit more about the model trains club and where to get good model trains and about the blog post, whatever. Then you're gonna wait another 48 hours, two days. So on Thursday, you'll get email number three. And then after you get email three, you're gonna wait three days, 72 hours, and that'll put you at about 2 p.m. on Sunday. You'll get the last email in the sequence. So let me show you how to set up the email campaign so your emails get sent out automatically every time somebody subscribes to your particular email list. Okay, so let's go back to this is the opt-in form again, and that is the happens to be the opt-in form for this list right there. So you have to make sure you're in the right list. So once you're in, once you're in the right list, what you're going to do is go down to automation. Don't right-click like I just did. Just go down to automation and click, and then it will expand and it will automatically take you to campaigns, or you can click it again. It's up to you. So this is the campaigns page. I just created a campaign a few minutes ago. Um, let me show you what it looks like. This is the preview. This is what it looks like. There's the first email, wait a day. The second email um, gets sent out after a day, wait two days. The third email gets sent out, and then you're going to wait three days, and then the fourth email will be sent out on Sunday. And then at the end, you will be tagged if you so choose or if I set it up that way. So let's just set up the campaign right now. Go over here, click Create Campaign. I like to just go with a blank campaign. That is absolutely the easiest way to do it as far as I'm concerned, so click Select. Now, I can have the campaign, those four messages, they can be triggered as soon as somebody subscribes, which is yes, which is the way I wanna do it, or as soon as somebody is tagged, maybe after they've completed or received all the emails in one campaign, you might want to tag them to trigger a second campaign. But just to keep it simple, right now, somebody fills out that form, they subscribe to that list, and on subscribe, the campaign is triggered. So let me click here. You will start the campaign on subscribe to this particular list, which we just said was anti-anxiety book. Okay, so I'm going to click here. 
send message, and I can click the second one. And these are all blank, so it doesn't matter what order I put them in. I just need to create four send message icons for the campaign. Now I'm going to click here in there. So there's the first one. I'm going to choose the message that I want to be sent out first, and that will be in the draft. So let me click here. I've already created these email drafts, okay? So let's just say I want this email, the second one, to be sent out first. Click Select. I'm going to click the second email right there. There's the second email I want. I'm going to choose that message. I want it to be, do you like yoga? Yes. The third email that I want to be sent out, like I said, I've already created it in the drafts. Uh, listen to relaxing music. Yes. And um, is that forward? No, we got one more. Choose message. How to meditate. Click select. Now, as soon as somebody subscribes to the email list, all four of these messages are going to be sent out immediately, which is exactly what we don't want. So we need to put a waiting period in between each message. Very easy. You just click and drag the waiting period. The default is one day. And so I have three waiting periods. The first waiting period a day, I'm going to leave it at that. So there's the first email and there's the second email. You wait, you wait 24 hours or one day before you receive the second email. The waiting period, click here to change the waiting period between email two and three. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make that two days. I could make it two minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months. I'm going to stick with days. And then the third waiting period is between the third and fourth email. And I'm going to have that be three days. I could choose anything. That's just what I happen. I'm just going to click over there or click there. And that's just what I happen to choose. Okay, so I'm going to click Save and Exit. And once again, this is the campaign I created earlier and named. And once again, I forgot to name this. So I can click there or I can click on the pencil to edit it. So this is where you change the campaign name. Just click on the pencil. And I'm going to call it that is the name of the campaign. Click the green check mark. And that is the name of the campaign. I'm going to click save and exit. Now, this, just so you know that these campaigns are for this list, right? We've clicked campaigns. Let's just go to another list like Facebook marketing. And you'll see that under campaigns for the Facebook marketing list, they have two different campaigns. Now, let's go back to the list I was just on, which is anti-anxiety book. And the thing to remember is that I this one is in draft. This one's active. So let's just stop that campaign. Go ahead. Click cancel. What I need to do is go here. I can pause the campaign or stop it. Now, if I pause the campaign, anybody who has activated the campaign will continue to receive all the emails in the sequence. So after your second email, if you're in the middle of this campaign, you'll still receive all four emails eventually in this campaign. If I click stop, right, when you stop a campaign, no new subscribers can enter your campaign and all current subscribers will stop receiving messages. So that's a serious thing. And once you stop a campaign, it cannot be reactivated. In this case, I'm going to do it because I know I don't need that. So it got rid of that. This is the one I want to activate. It's in status of draft. So I'm going to click on the pencil or I can just click here to activate. Once again, if I want to change the activation level, I can go here. I don't want to do that. You can also copy the campaign and send it to another list if you so choose. So this is an active campaign. Anytime anybody goes to this opt-in form, which is for the anti-anxiety book list, they will trigger this campaign. 
okay, called anti-anxiety stuff. Now, the thing I want to show you, this is the campaign, right? They opt in, email one, wait a day, email two, wait two days, get email three, wait three days, and get email four on Sunday. But there's another image I want to show you, which is this one. I'm going to add a tag. You can, first of all, you're already done with your campaign. You don't have to do anything. You may choose to add a tag, and I'm just showing you how to do that in case you want to do it. But like I said, don't freak out about tags. I covered that in depth and in detail in the advanced course. So let's go back this time to edit it. I'm going to click on the title. I'm going to click here. I'm going to apply a tag. And the name of the tag is completed. I'm going to put AA for anti-anxiety stuff. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit enter or return on the computer. And that's tagged. So once they complete this, of course, I'm going to click save. So the campaign will be triggered when they subscribe, and once they receive all four of the emails, this is the fourth one here, they will be tagged as completed the AA stuff. Now I'm going to click and save that. Why would you want to do that? Let me give you another visual. You may want, this is the campaign we just completed, right? Monday, wait a day, two wait two days, three. This is the campaign that we just completed and somebody gets tagged as completed. And then once they're completed with this campaign, that could automatically, if you so choose, have that trigger another campaign where they wait a day and then they get email five and then they wait a week before they get email six and another week before they get email seven and they can be tagged again. So one last step before we're done, we're going to create a new campaign, right? Select. And this campaign is going to start a campaign when a tag is applied to your subscribers. What is the tag? Apply the tag. Um, the tag, okay, to start a campaign when a tag is applied to your subscribers, start the campaign if any of these tags are applied to a subscriber. Okay, completed AA. And then I'm going to hit enter. So, you know what? Maybe. Okay, so it made it all small. So when these tags are applied to a subscriber, it'll trigger this campaign. And to create this campaign, we would do it just like we did a minute ago. Add the messages, add the weight, add another message. And then at the end, you can add another tag if you so choose. And you would say completed whatever, click here and completed, whatever. Um, you can have more than one tag applied if you want. And that's all there is to it. It wants me to fix these ish issues. It wants me to choose the message and all that good stuff. Okay, we don't need to do that. I'm just going to cancel that. And that's all there is to campaigns. So once again, this is essentially, this is all you need to do. All right. Make sure you're in the right email address. Click on campaigns under automation and then just click create campaign and get started that way. And that's all there is to it. Very, very powerful. Saves you a lot of time and effort. Take care and see you in the next video.